हेलो गाइज आई एम योर होस्ट और इंस्ट्रक्टर माई नेम इज वर्गांग पंचयाल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दिस सी बी टी ऑन ए एस नेटवर्क जोन यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस सी बी टी आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट यू इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ डॉकर इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड आई एम यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विंडोज टेन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फॉर आवर हैंड सोन लैब इफ यू आर बिगनर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट विंडोज टेन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम then you will get link in this cbt description and also in i button you can move on in last cbt as i tried to give many answers of question which were related from docker interview prosperous so here i am not going to take your more time but before installation of docker let us fulfill the requirements so that without failure you can install docker in windows operating system and also can move on for your rest labs and system requirements for docker installation are given such as you required windows 10 x64 bit operating system it should be professional enterprises or educational edition and at least their build number should be 15063 or later docker also required hyper v and container windows feature must be enable you can enable this feature from turn windows feature on or off inside your computer system there should be 4 gb ram virtualization technology or vt option should be enable from bios level let's move for hands on lab so this is my hands on lab computer system and here i am planning to install docker but before installation of docker let us fulfill the requirement so that without failure we can install docker so let me show you i am using microsoft windows 10 operating system for that you can right click on your this pc and click on properties there you can see i am using microsoft windows 10 operating system this is enterprises ltsc and here i am using xeon e5 series processor with 32 gb of ram this operating system architecture is x64 bit so it means we can install docker close this console and also right click on your windows taskbar so that you can verify that virtualization technology is enabled for this computer system click on task manager and here click on performance and there you can see virtualization is enabled it means vt option from bios is enabled close this task manager console now open your favorite web browser so that you can download docker but before downloading you will have to sign up over there so here i am using google chrome here in google you will have to type install docker for windows and here we go and there you will get first link docs.docker.com This link also is available inside this CBT description. Click on this. This is official page of Docker, and there you can see system requirements so that you can install the Docker without failure. Here you need to click on Download from Docker Hub. It's not mandatory. Without sign up, also you can download Docker, but for upcoming labs you can't configure them. So here I am going to sign up. so here you need to assign your docker id which will appear on official docker website assign your email address as well as password check this check box and also select this captcha option and sign up so here i am going to assign all the information which required over here and it's successfully done here i am going with continue with free once you sign up it require to verify your email address let me reverify my email address over here and email verification is also successfully done click on get started with docker desktop and here click on download docker with desktop for windows and in left hand side you can see download process has started it's 391 mb binary file is there 
and this download process is also done. Close this web browser console and you can see download patch is on your desktop. Just open this and now you can see before installation this wizard is going to enable Hyper-V Windows feature and then it will create a shortcut on your desktop. Click on OK and this Docker installation process will take little bit time. And installation process is also successfully done. It require a reboot. Click on close and restart. Once you restart your computer system and it's successfully up and login, you get this message box because by default Docker service is not up automatically. So it requires your permission. Let me click on start. And now Docker service is successfully started. Open your system tray. And there you will get icon of Docker. Right click over here. Click on sign in so that you can start your labs. Here enter your Docker ID and password which you have created while sign up process. Click on sign in button. And it's done. Again click on system tray. Right click on your Docker icon. And now you can see you have logged in successfully with your ID. Open your command prompt with admin rights. Now let us use a command to check our Docker version and command is docker space hyphen v. It's not case sensitive. Press enter. And there you can see we are using docker version 19.3.8. Let us run another docker famous command which is docker space run space hello hyphen world. Press enter. This command is to check docker activity. By default here we are not using any docker image. So automatically it will pull out a docker images from docker website. I hope you enjoy this CBT. Quickly again we will meet in next CBT. Thank you for watching this CBT on AS Network Zone YouTube channel. If you really like this CBT, click on like button and also comment us which section you like most or if you have any query, you can also comment us.